Hey everybody, it's Tiffany here. I wanted to jump on and do a quick video of my little double pocket folder. Um, a shout out to Teresa, one of my most awesome followers and supporters. <laughs> um, she asked me to do this video because I had shown in the past in my little, my winter, Traveler's Notebook made with the Dollar Tree shirt box. And if you don't know what a shirt box is, it's just one of these guys. So I've been making folios and tra uh, Traveler's Notebooks out of them. They are the perfect size for these cute little folios. Yeah. And I've got several videos done already on those, and I will link them below. But here's my what I'm talking about. This is the winter one that I did last. And I had a little, if you don't know what a traveler's notebook is, it just means that it has, like, elastic in the spine. It goes through the back, just a little loop. But then you have strings, elastic strings, down the inside of your spine, and it holds your journals or your notebooks in okay so this one oh I've, it's not in right now but it slips in right here so this is the little double notebook well, the double um, pocket folder got a little vellum pocket here and so it looks pretty complicated pretty fancy but it's really quite simple. There's a pocket here, of course, two pockets here, this one, two here, and then one back here. So there's seven pockets. So if you wanna watch that video, that will show you how to make this. It's all the very same measurements and everything. I've just used some different paper. I needed some spring paper it's almost April and I've been on vacation and I came home and it's snowing. I've been in the Caribbean on a cruise. It was amazing, you guys. Anyway, so Teresa had asked me to do this and so I thought I better hurry and make this video for her. But let me show you the one I've got in here. I love this paper. This is, um, let's see if I've got the for it here it is it is called homemade by cartabella you guys know i love cartabella and the prettiest sunflowers and oh i just love this paper and i've used most of the cute paper up so i'm just gonna have to use what i've got left to to demonstrate with but look how adorable this paper is i've got my cute long pocket here with the notch this is just one of the cut aparts from the sheet of cut aparts obviously but i die cut it so it has a cute border around it just use the scrap here to make a pocket this is one of the dollar tree journals i thought we, i could use that for like a gratitude journal or something and then one more journal and um, that's the one for uh, I showed in in that winter video um, these come in a pack of 16 for like $16 so it's a really good deal um, and I just pull I just rip the cover off that and put cute paper on it and then like elastic just holds it in you don't even have to um, adhere anything so and this is what I'm talking about this is another one of those little let me take that card out but another little double pocket folder here that I've got and just and the elastic just holds it in so it's just I just slip it right inside in the center of the notebook so so there's the notebook isn't that cute those little bees <laughs> so cute So then you can just slip that right inside the center. You can hold all kinds of things if you wanted to make some birthday cards ahead of time and have them ready in your 
your little traveler's notebook or planner or whatnot. You can fill it full of ephemera and send it to your friend as like happy mail. It can be like just a standalone if you had um, a regular traveler's notebook that had three lines of the elastic. This one, I only made two lines and so it just holds two notebooks. But if you had three um, strings, then you could put this, you know, by itself, like in the front of your, you know, whatever. There's lots of things you could do with it. But this um, original idea came from Pink Strawberries, and I'll link her her video below. She um, called it a junk journal, I think. But I just thought it would make a really cute insert for a traveler's notebook. So that's what I've done here. And she, um, hers is a little different. I changed it up. I did my pockets differently. And it's a different size. It's taller. So, yeah. But hers is really cute. Hers is winter also. Um, let's see. Is that all I wanted to say about that? I think so. I did do the closure a little bit different than in my winter one. If you watch that, the closure, so it's put together the very same. I've got an eyelet. I've punched a hole and put an eyelet and then just have the, um, a knot there. So it just goes from top to bottom, but Oh, it's caught on my ring. <laughs> it's like that. But in this one, I wanted I wanted this one to go across this way because I didn't want it to go, you know, over the words there. And it just doesn't it's if you're doing like one ply of of the elastic and it's so it's kind of smaller, you know, when it's when it's taut around that way. And it's harder to get on and off this way around your book. So what I did was I just, um, same, same basic concept. I punched a hole, put an eyelet in the hole, uh, tied a knot, tied, put my string in half, tied a knot. I used about two feet of the, of the elastic string, elastic cording, I guess it's called. Um, and then just put that through, you know, pinch it, put it through the hole. And then what I did was I got a button that had a shank on it, a, a little loop on the back of the button, if you don't know what a shank is. And all I did was pinch that and slide it through the shank, slide the button up to there. And then I tied a, a just a piece of ribbon on it, just a double bow. And then you've got it doubled up so you can just bring it around and do it up like that. And it's super easy to do it up. I messed with, again with tying, um, you know, a bow around it and stuff. And I just, I just didn't want to have to tie bows all the time. But I think it turned out really amazing. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. I love it. So, okay, anyway, let's just hurry and show you how to do the folder. So, you'll need, oh, I forgot to show you my cute little card. This was just a scrap, and it it's like three and a half inch scrap of that cute bumblebee paper. And this was also a piece of from that same cut apart sheet and I just used one of my dies and cut that and then yeah showing the little bit of the inside of that and you know fill up your little file folder tuck things into it um, I think it would be cute to make a bookmark and um, I've got this really cool punch and I'll link that below but uh, makes really neat tags, but I think it also makes really cute bookmarks. Um, let's see if I can find a scrap to show you. Let's see, here's my scraps. Let's see, that one would probably work. And it says to do one and a half, two and a half, or two inch pieces, but you can kind of just put it in the center. 
almost 100. And look at that. Is that so cute? Like, there's your bookmark right there. And I have, oh, I should have gotten that out too, but I have like something that cut, that punch, I have a punch, I should say, that punches out a little ring that would go around that. I forgot to get that out, but isn't that cute? Could tuck that in there if you were giving this as a gift. I've got this fun little, oh, another little cut apart. I think this would be a darling Mother's Day gift. It has, this um, collection has a lot of, you know, uh, family and home quotes and things like that. So, super cute. I guess I should show you a little bit better which papers I've used here so you can see. Got the bunches of flowers. There's two different florals in this collection. You can see the one is like just all the whole thing is covered with flowers, and then this one is more that they're in like bunches. Use that for the first folder. Use this one for the base. Of course, I've used up all this cute paper. That's my favorite. I think I used at least two sheets. I might have used like two and a half sheets of that. So get extra of that. And maybe this one, if you want to do the same thing I've done here. So Yeah, the bumblebees. So it's pretty simple. You're just making two little folders and then a base. So I'll show you that now. And the base is eight by 10. And then I've got one little folder already made. And so I will show you, whoops, <laughs> I will show you how to make the folder with this paper. This is kind of my template. Oh, upside down. And then, see, I've got one cut out here to help me remember how I did it. So we want to cut this paper. And it's best if you have paper that's not directional, that can go, you know, any direction like this. I think I want, I do want these stripes to go across, oh wait, yes, this way. So, we're going to cut this at nine and a half this way and eleven and a quarter this way. So, eleven and a quarter first we'll do here. And the measurements don't have to be exact, like, yeah, I mean, you could really make it any size you want. Okay, and then this was nine and a half. Yes, nine and a half. I'll show you that one more time. You could take a screenshot of that if you want to. Okay. Sorry, kind of going back and forth here. So nine and a half. Okay, a nice scrap there for a bookmark or tag or make a card with it. Okay, now let's keep it that way. All we need to do is score it in half. Let's see. At four and three fourths. Hopefully that's the center. Should be pretty close. Four and three fourths. And then we're going to score um, from the bottom three and three and a half inches. So this is gonna be my bottom here. Three and a half. And that will be your pocket, that three and a half inches. And you have to decide if you want to go that way or that way. And so I've got, I didn't love this to go in my book, but it would be fine for something else, I suppose. <laughs> it's really cute, but it's not like the theme that I had going on. 
So I want, let's see. I think I'm going to put this one in the front. So all we're going to do is glue our little folder to our base like that, leaving just a bit of an edge so that you kind of have a base for your pocket here. You'll want to cut a notch here so you can see that it is indeed a pocket. So just on this side of your first pocket, probably about an, an inch, maybe inch and a half down, and just kind of a slice, not like a half circle, but just kind of a, a slice out. That much, that's probably even a little more than we needed because it's gonna probably show more of that than I wanted. But yeah, you'll pick out your your favorite papers for this. Okay, you'll wanna fold your, just gonna fold that right in half. <laughs> and, okay. And then for, Okay, so I was trying to decide how I wanted this to go. So I'm going to do that one there. And then I think I'll do, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I want those two yellows next to each other. So I'll do that. Like I said, this isn't the cutest papers that I have left. But it'll do for an example. So what we need to do now is... Cut our pockets. So we've got this folded in half the long way. And let's see, I have to use both of these to help me figure out which way we're going. So it's open on this side, open on this side. We're going to make a little mark here at one and three fourths inches in. Okay, so let's see. Just put it, just put it on the 10 inch mark and go one and three fourths inches in. Alrighty. And then up here in the center, right? Yeah. We'll want to make a little mark at two and a, two and a half. So. Let's see, go at 11 here so you can see. So one, two, and a, let's see, 11, one, two, and a half. So right there. Okay, make sure I'm doing this right. I don't want to cut the wrong corner, which I've done before. All right, and then all we need to do is cut a triangle out from that little, you can see the little marks, that little mark to that little mark. And you can use your scissors for that. I just don't quite trust myself to cut it straight <laughs> with my scissors so I'm just gonna line those little marks up on my cutting blade or yeah whatever <laughs> cutting tool and that's what we have you can save that I actually used let me show you what I did with my little scrap there so look at this one more time so cute so this little corner that i chopped off i actually fussy cut the little flowers out of it and stuck and you know this was the cut edge fussy cut those out and stuck them right there i thought that would turn out really cute little added bonus and then that's most of it. That's pretty much our pockets. It's going to fold up like that. First of all, let's fold it back how it was. We're going to just cut a little sliver. Well, about a fourth of an inch out right here. Let me, let me just draw that out for you. So this is, if you can see the score mark here, we're going to go from the score mark down to straight down about a fourth of an inch like that. We're just going to cut that little sliver out right there. And let's see, do I have some little scissors? Here we go. I'm going to cut that pencil mark that I made off. 
trying to be careful just to go right up to that score line. Just like that. Let's see if it looks straight enough. I think I need to cut a little more from the bottom. It'll be straighter, just a hair. Okay, that looks good. Okay, that is your pockets. I'm just going to, I like the corners to be a little bit more rounded, if you can see. And you can't really get in there with the, with the corner rounders. They just don't work because it's not square. So I'm just going to do my best to just round that off a little bit with my scissors. Not too much. I don't know if you could maybe use some nail clippers for that or something. But that is your little filter with your pockets. And then you, all you need to do is put a little bit of glue down this side and this side. Right there. Uh, I would love it if you would share this video or give me a thumbs up. It helps um, helps my channel, helps the video to be seen. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't already. That was too much. That came out really fast, but doesn't usually happen like that. That's all there is to it. That's your cute little pocket folder. And you can totally just put it just like that into your traveler's notebook. You don't have to have, you know, the double pockets. But I think that's so cute. It would be even cuter if I had the other pretty floral paper. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to round those corners off with my wonderful crocodile corner chomper i use this thing a ton oh it's full i will link that below i'm going to, to use the quarter inch fourth inch side on each corner i just think that makes it like takes it to another level of cuteness to have the corners rounded for some reason do you guys agree? I love rounding corners. That one's a little... I might be about due for a new corner chomper. But... Okay, is that so cute? And then we just need to make another circle notch on this. So those will be... It'll be like that. So we need a little circle punch here. And here it is right here. I'm going to try to kind of get them in the, about the same place so just hold them kind of together like that let's see let's go this way so we can see how much we're cutting and about right there there we go and then all we have to do is glue them onto our base If I can get better um, luck with my glue this time. So we want this to be open. This is going to be a pocket. So don't glue this side. All we're going to do is glue around the top and the center and the bottom. So put that aside for now. Center, bottom, and top. I can't really see what I'm doing here, so <laughs> it'll turn out okay. Good. And then we'll just glue that onto the left side, leaving an even edge around it. I think that might be a little taller than I needed it to be. Let's see. Kind of center that looks good it's 
probably a, like a fourth of an inch around each side. Okay, and then same thing here. We're going to glue on the back side, leaving this part open as a pocket. And give this in a better position. So I can get my arm in there without my head being in the camera. <laughs> And that's really about all there is to it. So it's just a fun little quick project. Like I said, it would be really cute to just fill that up with some ephemera or whatever and send it in the mail to your friend that scrapbooks. Okay. So there is our little double folder. I think I want to round those corners of the outside too. Isn't that fun? Let's see. Where did I put my... There it is. Because that just makes it so much cuter, doesn't it? <laughs> So simple and easy. So let's see, I've got some frames and tags. I've got the a couple of the chipboard. Oh, where did I put the other chipboard? Oh, there it is. Sorry, I've this is my third time filming this video. I just really struggle with my phone trying to film things, but yeah, I could put some cute little whatever's on the front of that let's see if we could find something here i didn't feel like there was a lot in the frames and tags that um that i wanted to use like if this were a gift or something like i wish i don't know a lot of it is about family which is great for a mother's day gift but <laughs> <coughs> anyway i think hmm I think what I would probably use is and the chipboard phrases is one of either this one. Yeah, I think I would use that one or that one. It would be really cute on that. That's cute. I think it might need a little a little ink around the edges to help that stand out but yeah you can tuck whatever you want inside of there make some little cards out of your scrap and it's just a super cute easy little project There's some cute scraps you could I'll make a card out of that tuck it inside but lots of fun ideas for that Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.